Hey, how's it going? My name is Corey Miller, and on today's one-off video, I want to talk about why I'm switching from the Apple Watch to this regular watch. So, I've had this for a while. This is the Apple Watch Series 1. I originally, on actually on release night of the original Apple Watch, um, I, I stayed up until whatever it was, 3 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time, and I stayed up super late. I pre-ordered the aluminum version. I got that, I wore it for a while, I sold that, and I upgraded to the stainless steel model. And I had that for a while. The reason why I upgraded to the stainless steel was with whatever it is that I was doing, I was doing a lot, and I wanted that sapphire infused screen or whatever it's called. And initially, the, the only reason why I bought a watch, I bought an Apple watch, was I was like, well, I wanna stay ahead of the curve a little bit. You know, I wanna make sure that I know what's going on in the world of technology, and my friends are getting it and all of that but there wasn't actually a real reason for me to buy one. I just kind of did it. And as the years progressed, uh, I ended up selling my original Apple Watch before we moved to Ireland. And then I found one that was like a refurbished unit. It's still the Series 1, that's this guy right here. And I got it, it was like at a huge discount and, and all of this stuff, and I got it and I, and I was wearing it. And about a month ago, a month before, actually a little bit over a month before I started recording this video, I took it off to charge it and I never put it back on. And it, that's just how it kind of, that's just kind of how it went down. And I ended up putting this watch back on. This is a, just a regular standard analog watch. It's made by Movement, MVMT. Yeah, MVMT Movement Watches. Um, this is not like sponsored by them or, or anything like that, but I absolutely love this watch because it's simple. It tells me the date and the time. And towards the end of using the Apple Watch, that's basically what I was using it for. Siri was absolutely useless. I don't use Siri at all. It was tracking my steps, but I, I wasn't really, I didn't really care. I don't, I'm not really big into tracking steps and, and all of that stuff. I wasn't using it for apps, even with Watch OS 3, it really wasn't, it, it wasn't giving me any, it wasn't allowing me to do anything more conveniently than with my iPhone. And plus the notifications on this thing, like, and I know that you can kind of program notifications to be, you know, to not buzz your wrist on all the stuff, but I found myself looking down at my watch far too often to see if I'd gotten a new text message or a new email. I'd be in bed in the middle of the night and if I had it on, I would I might glance down, you know, if I woke up and I, oh, I got an email and then it would just start working my brain a little bit. It never actually simplified my life. I think that's really what it comes down to is it never really simplified my life. It never made me think, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that I have this. Now for some people, they might use it to unlock their Mac when they sit down or they might use it to, to load on music or audiobooks while they go on a run so they don't have to have their phone. But to be honest, I'm totally comfortable putting on an armband and having wired headphones and running around with my iPhone. That's totally fine. And I really want to simplify my life. I, I want to be the kind of person where it's just like, I'm totally okay to not be connected all of the time. I don't, I don't want to be downstairs having dinner, feeling like I need to look at my watch and, and being afraid, oh, if I look down, Maybe I've got an email from work or I've got an email from someone back in the States or I got this text message or whatever. I don't, I don't wanna worry about that stuff. I wanna be able to enjoy a nice dinner or, or whatever. I mean, there are other complaints that I have. The fact that, interestingly, right, right before I went to sit down and record this video, I, I picked this up after not having picked it up for a day and it was like 10% charged, you're on low power mode. And I was like, it's literally just been sitting there. What's it, it hasn't been doing anything. It's just been eating up battery. And ultimately that's the best thing about this watch is I don't have to worry about charging it. I can just leave it on my wrist. It's totally fine. I don't have to, to, to take an extra cable with me when I travel. I don't have to make sure that I've got a USB connection. I don't, it doesn't matter. I just have a watch that tells me the time and the date. And at the very end, that's what I was using this watch for. So I was using it to tell me what the time was and what the date was. Some people have found this useful, but for me, I needed more simplicity in my life, and this did not bring it for me, and this did. So I'm switching back to using a regular analog watch. I'm gonna sell this, and, and I don't think I'm gonna be jumping back on the smartwatch bandwagon anytime soon. I really don't. It, it, hasn't, it hasn't introduced a lot of value into my life. It's only made it that, that I have another piece of electronic on my body. So this, is going there and this is going here. So that's it for today's one-off video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.